Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and give it a shot on your own. You can do it. Alright, let's read it together. It says, what is the difference, so we're subtracting, of 3.49 times 10 to the 18th and 1.4 times 10 to the 17th? Write your answer in scientific E notation. So let's just establish a couple of things here. Difference means subtraction, and the order of the numbers that we're given is the order in which we're subtracting. So really here, we can rewrite this quickly as an expression of 3.49 times 10 to the 18th minus 1.4 times 10 to the 17th. Now you don't need parentheses here uh, because the order of operation tells us we multiply first, right? But it helps us see the numbers we're dealing with. So this looks pretty overwhelming. But when we're subtracting or adding in scientific notation, one great strategy is to get your powers of 10 to match each other. So here, 10 to the 17th is too small. I want it to match 10 to the 18th, and then I can just directly add or subtract my two first factors here, which makes life a lot easier. All right, so let's do that. Um, so over here, I will change that exponent. So we have 1.4 times 10 to the 17th. I don't want 17. I want 18, so I can add these things directly. Now, if I think about that, if I want 18, that means I have to multiply 10 to the 17th by 10 one time. And to balance that, to maintain equivalence, I divide by 10 on this side, and I get 0.14, with decimal over once to the left. So now I have the same number written in um, a different way, right? Written uh, with 10 to the 18th in it. So now I can subtract directly. So here, uh, it might be easier to stack this up. So we've got 3.49 times 10 to the 18th, and we're subtracting 1.4, right? S excuse me. That's what we had originally. We have 0 0.14 times 10 to the 18th. Now, we leave the 10 to the 18th alone because this is in terms of that power, right? 10 to the 18th stays there. And here, we subtract directly. So I'll show that, and then I'll explain that a little bit more. So 3.419 minus 0 0.14. 9 minus 4 is 5. 4 minus 1 is 3. And 3 minus 0, of course, is 3. And that's our answer. In E notation, we could write 3.35E18. Um, so lastly, let's we'll just explain quickly, why do we leave the 10 to the 18th alone? Imagine you have um, three tens, right, different problem now, three tens, minus two tens. This would be the same as 30 minus 20, right? Now 30 minus 20 is 10. In other words, 3 tens minus 2 tens is 1 ten. Now look at this structurally. We subtracted the 3 and the 2 and got 1, and we left the tens alone. Why? Because we're talking in terms of tens here. In this problem, we're talking in terms of tens to the 18th, so we leave it alone. And if it's still not clear, think about it in terms of scientific notation. 3 tens would be 3 times 10. 2 tens would be 2 times 10. Subtract them, and we get 1 times 10, or 1 group of 10. So here we're subtracting groups of tens, so we leave the tens alone. Here we're subtracting groups of 10 to the 18th, an enormous number, so we leave that alone. So it's for the same reason. I hope that helped. Thanks.